Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of echogenic fetal ball. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for 9 months. She came for routine third trimester ultrasound scan. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the section of the fetal abdomen. You can see a hyper echogenic bowel segment, the echogenicity of which is more than adjacent liver, this is the part of liver, and it is of slightly increased or similar echogenicity as adjacent fetal bones. So this hyper echogenic bowel segment is called the echogenic fetal bowel. Here you can see this part. Here is the picture of the hyperechogenic ball segment. Here is another picture and you can see this hyperechogenic ball and you can compare on the right with the adjacent liver parenchyma and it is of increased echogenicity than adjacent liver. Here you can see the fetal bones that are the ribs in this case and uh, the echogenicity of this ball is quite similar or slightly increased than these bones. So in summary, an echogenic fetal bowel loop is seen, the echogenicity of which is more than adjacent liver and fetal bones. I know whatever I have told here may not be satisfactory for the beginners. So let's check the take-home message elaborately. To avoid overdiagnosis, a report echogenic bowel when the fetal bowel echogenicity is similar or more than the surrounding bone. Sometimes it may be confusing, so this comparison may help you avoid overdiagnosis. A sonographic grading system exists about this echogenic bowel to assess the degree of echogenicity, although this is not commonly used in clinical practice. In grade 0, the echogenicity of bowel is isoechoic to the liver. In grade 1, it is mildly hyperechogenic to the liver, but it is still less echogenic than the bone. In grade 2, the echogenicity is moderately increased in comparison to the liver or almost same as the bone. And in grade 3, the echogenicity is more than liver as well as the bone. If there is difficulty discerning whether ball is as echogenic as bone, one can progressively decrease the gain to see which structure disappears first. It is a good way to understand the difference of echogenicities among bone, liver and ball. Now what are the differential diagnoses of this case? It might be idiopathic. In third trimester, meconium containing ball may appear echogenic and it's quite normal finding. It may be associated with trisomy 21, cystic fibrosis, and may be present in fetal infections like cytomegalovirus, parvovirus, or toxoplasmosis. It is also seen in meconium peritonitis. Less commonly, we get it on fetal growth restriction. When you are getting a patient having abruptio placenta, if the blood enters into the amniotic cavity, then fetus may ingest the blood and you can get echogenic bowel. Rarely, but it is quite important that bowel ischemia may come with echogenic fetal bowel. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it will help you. If it helps, then hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.